Hi, we've uh, just launched Arch Merged 6.2.1 and we have already finished our scripting for the open box so we can install XFCE, i3 and open box and also that's also phase 2 yeah? but there's also budgie already from phase 3 we'll get to phase 4 which will be an Arch Linux installation the Arch way so completely following the guidelines on Arch Linux. This is just uh, a show what is, uh, what does it look like, how does it feel, what is Arch merged and what's open box because maybe you've never seen an open box distro before and it's a bit strange as there are no menus up here anywhere there's nothing here available. Uh, we have here a plank which looks like more or less an, a Mac plank or anything like that if you put it to the button, for instance, you go with uh, control and right mouse click, you can say, look, why on the left, why not on the bottom? There you go. We have that on the bottom. Now it's really kind of looks like Mac. And if you have even more ambitions to copy paste like that, you have here somewhere. OS X Yosemite is going to be looking more or less like a Mac. So there are 70 playing themes to choose from, you just choose one and that's all right. Zooming or not zooming, it's all good for us. You just select and that's great. We have a Konki ad available here at the, the right. What's a Konki? Konki is a little program that gives us, us information about your system. There are a few Konkis and we'll have plenty of time in the future to admit or, yeah, is that the correct word? to add more conkeys to it. So we have uh, lots of conkeys in there. It's just click and then there you go. You have another conkey. But I liked the previous one because of the design and the look and the wallpaper that we've chosen right now. This one suits us best, which is the Nemesis. So there you go. We have a wall with figures moving, telling you something about CPU, memory, etc. I also like often to see it, uh, the temperature of my CPU temperature. It will be filled in once you're no longer on a virtual box. Yes, we are making this tutorial on a virtual machine. What else? So we have here a something. What is it? Well, this is actually desktop one. This is desktop two, three and four. You see it up, up here, pop up in the middle that we have a, a different uh, desktop. But um, there is no menu. The menu in open boxes, right mouse click. So somewhere on your um, desktop, we get everything we need, which is a terminal, which is termite. We've gone for termite and we have here a look, a color look, and there are 70 other colors you can choose from. We have here the file manager, which is Tunar. We've changed a little bit in colors. This was the color for, um, well, an, an, if you look at the uh, gallery, and sort of Halloween like uh, choice. So this is not relevant at this point in time. It's not nice, it's rather ugly and it clashes with our system. So let's take something else, Arc Polo Dark. Let's keep the blue from here, from the Konki. Let's put the blue in here as well. And why not go then for, for instance, this time, Surfen Arc. These are the folders from Horse 3180. They are beautiful. They are super nice. They are very clean. And I think it might go well with our uh, picture here that we have. So we've decided to go for Surfen and Arc theme, Arc folders and Surfen icons. So that's uh, one decision we've made. So we are changing a little bit the things. You see, this is still red. Maybe you like it still red. If you don't, you need to go to Open Box and GUI the configuration tool back to what did we choose blue I guess blue 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 I'm missing the blue let's take a blue let's take that one or that one and now we have the blue look and uh, well yeah if we go down there we have a web browser available 
and there we have this is the wallpaper where the Jello Conkeys wallpaper is changed. How does this happen? It's variety kicking in. Variety has preferences. You tell them have to change every five minutes or not, and uh, so on. The set to check out the settings are all explained in another tutorial. With uh, Alt arrow to the right, I get my car back, and arrow Alt arrow up. I get my uh, system to sell to to stay on this machine this wallpaper text editor we're going for genie and all these applications i will not go over them the tutorial will be gone too long why am i showing these guys these are manually created these are all automatically 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 these are all manually we've done those preferences i've covered the colors and so but there's printing and sound and there's a tin 2 GUI, that's, that's this one on the top, that's the tin 2 GUI. We might change that because this is the red one and we went for blue. So we just say, okay, go for blue. And now everything is blue up here. So it's getting to know where to click when and then you have a beautiful system. The advantage in open box is that it's fast, it's minimal. A um, lot not, not of uh, memory is used to show everything and it's um, like I said very fast thing so there you go I think that's enough for an overview if you like what you see and say okay uh, I want to try open box there are lots of tutorials on archmerch.com um, all right cheers